Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to be showing you the ice cream sandwich ROM that I showed you how to install in the previous video. So, this is my first impression here. Um, so you get your welcome screen, just like all the other Android versions. Press start. Uh, you can sign in or get a Google account, so I'm just going to go not now. Uh, untick those two. Press next. Um, this phone belongs to... Just do this bit. There we go. Right, so press next. Uh, first, well, some of the things I've noticed is you've got the soft key at the bottom here, so you can go back. Those work fine. Seems pretty smooth, although um, it is just the setup screen. Um, so here, click finish, setup complete. You can see in the top there we've got 3G working uh, battery there. That's accurate because I uh, saw how it was on Android before so the battery's quite accurate um, time also accurate so that's all working everything seems to be in, in keeping as it was before um, so you get this screen make yourself at home you can put your favorite apps here so uh, seal your apps touch the circle so I'll just touch this circle again we have the soft keys at the bottom here and this is basically an introduction a tour of the uh, well the the operating system so, okay, understood. Downloads there. Um, so that takes you home. So we've got first thing you notice you've got widgets already installed. Nice sort of see-through widget there. This is the uh, Taitung um, ice cream sandwich ROM, by the way, uh, beta version two. So some things aren't working yet. So I won't be able to show you everything. But um, let's just go ahead and look at some of the things. So oh, you've got a nice new dialer here. Looks pretty pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like a honeycomb feel to it. Uh, well, I suppose that's what ice cream sandwich is. It's a bit of uh, gingerbread and a bit of honeycomb mixed up flavour. Um, let's see what this button does. So I'm guessing that's tasks. So I've got my phone open here that I just opened. So um, don't know what this does. So you press that. I'm assuming you press phone. Takes you back to it. Got no contacts at the moment. Go to messages, um, that's working. Uh, I will put a list of the stuff in the description that's working and what's not working as of this version. Um, and I'll also put the link to the thread of the original developer of this ROM so that you can go back and check for newer versions. Uh, so this messaging app looks different uh, to Gingerbread, so create new message. Um, similar interface, uh, it kind of looks like with this send button here, it looks Google. Google Plusy, like the Google Plus app, if anyone's ever used that. Um, so it's the same sort of style. Um, you can attach stuff, add smileys, discard, change the settings. The keyboard looks quite similar, but there is like a smoother finish. Finish even uh, haptic feedback's working, so you do get a little vibration when you uh, press the keys. Um, slightly laggy, as you can see there. Uh, but it's it's workable, it's not too bad. Um, you can see I've got a new voicemail, the date. Um, so if I go uh, back to the menu, see what else we've got. Um, up the top here you'll notice you can choose from either apps or widgets, that's a new thing. Uh, a new widget screen, so you've got the stock widgets there. Uh, there is some more as well if you just swipe across, which is pretty cool. Google Plus posts, Google Plus photos, uh, market, music. Uh, there's quite a few, quite a few actually, more than I expected, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to add the power control, see what, see what it does. So just touch and hold. Uh, I have to put it there, there's nowhere else to put it. And there's no customization options, which is a bit of a bummer, but uh, you can see what goes on, you can see how it works. Um, what else do we have here? So if I go back to app, so there's a new, there's a market button up there, I didn't see that. So this takes you to the market, which is pretty cool. You have to sign in though. Um, see what the email client's like. Uh, again, the same sort of finish, the uh, text and the underlined, um, underlined boxes. You can't really see the cameras focusing, strange. Um, uh, let's see what else there is. 
So we've got Movie Studio. I've not seen this before. Don't know what this is. I'm assuming this is sort of like the iPhone iMovie uh, experience. Uh, just put something random. Press OK, see what happens. So, don't have any videos yet, so I don't really know how I'm going to get, uh, how I'm going to show you that. So, we've got Google Plus pre installed. I think this, uh, that's just with this ROM. Oh, it is a swipe left and right instead of up and down. Nice little animation. So, the animations are quite smooth. Um, the ROM developer did suggest a few tips. Um, turning it off. Um, just have a look. I think it said. Um, turn off animations, I think that's what he said. Um, window animation scale, that's it. And transition, so to improve the performance, I'll just try this out. Oh, there's the settings menu, this looks pretty cool. Nice and fresh look to it. So you go to uh, menu, system settings, and developer options. See where that is. And then. Uh, transition animation scale. Let's see where that is. So, take that off. That's supposed to improve performance. Um, and also window animation scale and transition. So where's window? Uh, window animation scale. So take both of those off if you want to improve performance. See what it's like now. Still. A bit laggy, like things like this, but I think that's because of the hardware acceleration and is uh, only in beta stage. Um, like I said, camera doesn't work, can't connect to it, uh, so I can't show you that. Clock, basic clock app, kind of the same as before, just a different look. Um, can't really see what else there is. Videos. Oh, you need to sign in for that for some reason. Um, got a YouTube app. I'm assuming I'll need. No oh man, I need to sign in. Accept. Oh, so there's a new YouTube app here. Um, not seen this before. This looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool there. You can don't, trying to make me sign in, but yeah, you can see there's a different look to this. The YouTube app. Um, I believe that these have the new leaked um, Google Apps uh, already installed in. So, like if I go to Gmail, oh, I need to sign in for that. Um, I'm assuming I will for Google Plus as well. Yep, need to sign in for everything. Um, is there a new mark? Any? No, need to sign in. Changes to the calendar? Not now. Uh, looks the same. Again, slight new feel, um, you know, changed theme, I suppose. But uh, all in all, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a nice little operating system. Um, I've not really had a chance to show you everyone the features, um, but you know, it's looking, it's looking good. It seems to work. Um, same old music player which is strange, I would have thought they would have updated that. Uh, but yeah, this is this is Ice Cream Sandwich uh, working, as you can see, just a bit laggy. But, uh, you know, it works, the best we've got at the moment, so I suggest you check it out. Uh, check my other video out if you want to install it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.